Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. I-70 is ramping back up to summertime. Just over 103,000 cars traveled through Summit Friday into Sunday. That's 10% busier than last weekend. The Mountain Corridor dropped below 100,000 cars for just two consecutive weekends this year. That is the fewest since 2019. Local air quality plummeted this afternoon under a blanket of haze from Canadian wildfires. Summit started the day with mild haze. By noon, quality was two times worse. PurpleAir.com shows it is now as bad as the Denver metro area, where the smoke has been moderate to severe for several days now. A woman was found dead yesterday in a short-term rental north of Breckenridge near Tiger Run Resort. Sheriff Jamie Fitzsimons. Summit County Sheriff's Office deputies responded to the villas at Swan Nest Complex for the report of a woman crying loudly. On scene, the deputies found an adult female unresponsive inside of one of the units. The deceased woman has not been identified. Authorities are investigating all angles, including homicide. There was enough suspicious circumstances on scene that we need to rule out that this death was not caused by another human being. The woman found crying on scene has not been identified or arrested. No suspects are in custody. Suspected Instagram troll Charles Drawn was not in Summit County Court today. His disposition hearing has been bumped to June 12th. Drawn has been in jail for nearly five months on charges of threatening violence against Summit School District. Tomorrow, he's due in Clear Creek County Court on charges from two years ago. Coming to Silverthorne Pavilion tomorrow is the annual State of the River Address with Colorado River District. Spokesman Zane Kessler. We do ask that folks register ahead of time because we'll be providing dinner and conversation with legislators and water leaders from around the West Slope. That meeting is 530 tomorrow. This comes as California, Arizona, and Nevada are finally ready to play nice with other basin states. They have announced a plan to save 3 million acre feet of water by 2026. Experts say this is a step in the right direction, but still far short of a federal benchmark, saving as much as 4 million acre feet by end of this year. California was ready to fight that benchmark in court, arguing senior water rights. Nearly 100 acres of open space near the landfill could soon be closed seasonally for elk and deer migration. That property runs on both sides of U.S. Highway 6, near where the Snake River drains into Lake Dillon. Make comments on that plan, the Tenderfoot Meadows Open Space Plan, through June 16th. Firefighters are using a mobile app to trim precious minutes off their response, even when they have never seen a building before. Where are the hydrants on this block that I'm coming into? Where are the connections to the sprinkler system and to the standpipe system? Where are my utilities? Where are the elevators? What floors do the elevators go? That was Captain Eric Johnson at Red, White & Blue Fire. Info comes from building inspections and occupancy permits. Starting this week, CDOT is full steam ahead on Vail Pass, now entering the third year of a five-year upgrade there. CDOT engineer John Cronholm. Vail Pass does have a high crash rate. In fact, on all of I-70, it has the highest crash rate. CDOT is replacing two bridges and adding a third lane eastbound. They also finished building a new rest area. You can expect staggered closures on both sides of I-70 now through October. In sports, the Rockies open a series with the Marlins tonight at 640. The Nuggets play the Lakers at 630 on ESPN. They're just one win away from their very first trip to the NBA Finals. And in local sports, Summit High Baseball is moving on to the second round of the State 4A tournament after beating Evergreen and Palisade over the weekend. This is the deepest the Tigers have ever gone in the postseason. Tournament brackets are announced soon for games in Colorado Springs starting Friday. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.